Hi traders, it's Wednesday today and I'm coming off two red days where I lost approximately $10,000. So whatever you're going to see me doing today, it's going to be half size because I know I'm not mentally capable of trading the same size I usually do. Now I do like this SSNC here, which is down 11%. If it's going to come down under 60, that would look like very interesting and it's getting close. I'm going to short it with 2000 shares again, half size. Now just came down, I'm short. Just short it for 2000 shares, not taking the usual risk I usually do. Apple is looking great. Uh, it came up today very strong, started with a huge gap up today. And um, now that it returns to the highs, I want to go long. It's going to happen over 2 10 30 approximately. And we are getting there, clicking the button now. I'm long 2000 shares Apple. Again, usually I would do that double size. Apple is not such a big mover, really. I'm risking approximately one point here. Just under this support over there, but it looks great. And it's about to reach the highs. It looks great. Here we go. New high. Touched a new high. Small pullback. Nothing to worry about. Come on, Apple. Come on, Apple. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to have a stop right here under this support. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. It was sense for my stop now and it's bouncing. I always like to see them bouncing at the point where I where I should stop. You know, at the point where I stop, that's a support and that is so far holding. It's not just luck traders. It's not just luck. That's why you should have support, watch support and resistance point. I did have my my stop right over there and it's bouncing right now and it's looking much, much better. And here we go back again to the highs and over the highs. This is amazing now. Look at it goes. Look at it goes. Again, support and resistance. And tell you what, if I had my usual size, I'm not sure I could have survived that. It's very interesting. We are getting to the point where I would like to take my partial. Here we go. More than a point now. I'm about to take an 1800 share partial. Took that. More than a point in Apple. Again, I'm not sure I could have survived this pullback earlier. Sometimes you, you, you lower your size and you trade better. And um, right now I proved myself that this Apple trade was a great winner. Probably because I reduced my size. Watching BA here for a long. It's only up 0.6%, but look at this whole number here, 380. I'm buying now. Oh, well, I thought it's going to go through. It just touched the whole number, but it did not go through. Boeing still holding down, but uh, there's a lot of bottoming tails here. And I'm hoping it's going to get back to the 380 mark. It's a bit spready now. Here we go. Back to 380. Look at the... Oh, and we, we're we off. We're off. We're off to the races. Here we go. 70 cent move up. 60 cent. I want to get more than 70 cents, which was approximately my risk. My risk was anywhere between 60 to 70 cents. So I need to see the buyers moving over 380.70. It's not there yet. But it just moved over 380. And again, remember these whole numbers. Once you move over a whole number, you usually see a quick breakout. And here we go. Buyers are over 70. I'm getting ready for my partial. Any sign of a pullback? Watch the buyers here at 77. If I'm going to see them coming down, I'm going to click the button. Any sign of a pullback? 77 buyers. Good. Now, pull back to 66. Click that button. I have a partial in Boeing. And again, I survived this pullback here because I really didn't have my usual size. Great trade in Boeing. SSNC is finally making its decision to move lower. And I'm about to add 1000 shares. Adding now. That looks to me like a very, very nice reversal point. It consolidated for a while, but it's probably going to come down now. And SSNC did great. Added earlier, it just moved under 59 and I'm about to take my partial 2700 shares. I don't want to see 
the sellers right here the ask side moving over 59 dollars if i'm going to see them moving a cent over 59 i'm going to click that button and so far it's just coming down almost without any pullback watch the settle size now at 99 good they moved to 80 back to 90 not good that means support that means support we're going to move a cent over 59 59 now a cent over 59 i took my partial 2700 shares that's my third great trade for the day and very nice continuation is in ssnc did over two grand in Apple, fifteen hundred dollars in Boeing, and nineteen hundred dollars in SNC. Altogether, fifty-six hundred dollars, and that all happened in twenty-two minutes. Now, tell you what, I really, really like this day, and the main reason I liked it is, of course, because I bounced out of two, out of two red days. So I started my day knowing that I need to reduce my size. And tell you what, this is uh, something I need to think about, really. People often ask me, why don't I raise my size even more than the usual 4,000 shares I'm buying? And here comes the answer. I'm not sure whether it's going to be good for me to raise size or to lower my size. In fact, I proved today that once I lowered my size, I could take bigger dips. I could hold a little bit more. The stocks I was trading today has, did not do anything wrong. They were all uptrending or downtrending. I just had to survive the pullbacks. If I had my usual size, I'm not sure I would. I really am not sure I would with Boeing, with SNC, and even with Apple. So the thing I finished in green and very nicely in green today is mainly because I reduced my size. And always, always after a huge trading loss like I had my first two red days Monday and Tuesday it's always a good advice to reduce your size because you're not mentally capable of trading the same way you did before that so I reduced my size I did great think about this traders sometimes you can make more money by reducing your size not by adding to your size that's a, a very important rule to think about thank you for watching this one Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading room for a free 14-day trial. TradeNet has educated more than 30,000 professional traders worldwide since 2004, and its trading room is one of the world's leading trading communities. Click here to start your free trial. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.